hello welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome today on the menu we have beans i have another way to prepare it this is the beans i have soaked it overnight and i've washed it thoroughly and it's now in the colander and um this is plantain and this is potato onions and habanero pepper chicken palm oil and salt it's the pink salt mm -hmm. so we start by boiling the beans i have about two and a half cups of water in that pot and the beans is two cups beans it looks a lot because um, it has absorbed a lot of water as i told you it was pre-soaked so I'm going to add salt. This is about three fourth tablespoon of salt. And after which I'm going to boil it for one hour. Then I will add the chicken washed and seasoned and the onions and pepper to it. So now it is on, on the fire at high heat. I will leave it for an hour to boil. And meanwhile I'll prepare the potato and plantain for the air fryer i don't fry them as um, a traditional fry i just prepare them and add a little salt and oil and put them in the air fryer so this is all peeled you have to put it in water when it's peeled but i'm going to cut it out into thin slices first before i put it in water and add salt to the water I'll leave it for a while, maybe like 15 minutes, so I can get some of the starch out of it. But yes, if it's not in water, it will be black. And we don't want it to lose its color. I think that is what it is called oxidation. When it combines with oxygen, changes the color. I'm going to add salt, just like a teaspoon of salt to that. And um, this is the onions and pepper going into the pot after an hour of boiling. This is my plantain. I've washed and peeled it and adding a little oil and some salt to it. Preparing it for the air fryer. I'm just putting it in the air fryer tray now. Yes, um, I'm pouring the potato to just get the water out of it. And I'm adding some oil. The potato was already in salt water. I'm just getting them ready for the air fryer. So into the air fryer they go. They'll be there for 30 minutes. And I'm checking on my beans. It's about an hour. And um, I'll be adding the palm oil at this point. When it still has some water. So the palm oil also will um, just boil a little the palm oil is, is very nice, it's your red teas, but we just want it to boil a little because palm oil and beans have a way of them um, combining together. If it's not thoroughly cooked, it has a way of tasting your mouth. So this is about 1 hour 30 minutes of cook time. And I will be doing this beside the pot so that I can get some of the beans crushed. It's all cooked and soft, but we are looking for a consistency, which um, only crushing some of the beans can give. You will see at the end. So after 30 minutes, I'm checking on my potato and planting. And voila, it looks like it was fried in oil. <laughs> so this is a nice way of cutting down oil. If you are concerned about your health, about fats and cholesterol and all of that. Yes, yeah, so this is the consistency I was going for. And here we have it. So, the beans is cooked in one pot. I don't have to cook the stew and then add the beans later. So, this is the, another method of cooking beans. If you look at my channel, there is the first method I mentioned where you cook the stew in one pot and you boil the beans in another and you combine them but this one all is done in the same pot you just add the ingredients at different intervals so i'm just serving it out now and i will add the 
potato and planting and it's yummy guys very yummy tight you just have to be careful with the water you use to boil the beans because we're not throwing out any of the water that water has a lot of ingredients and um, good quality so if you like what you see give me a thumbs up comment share if you haven't subscribed please subscribe thank you for coming to this channel we have a lot of Sierra Leonean delicacies we want to showcase so please send me a comment or two if you like me to do something I haven't done yet thank you for watching be safe out there remember hands space and face or hands face and space so that we beat this um, coronavirus stay safe i love you all thank you very much this is the end product it was so yummy i want you to try it but the the caution is to be careful with the water you use thank you bye bye